Welcome back to Deer, Beer, and Gear. On today's episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about my out west hunting experiences in three states, Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana. Today we're probably going to spend most of the time talking about uh, Montana where I spent uh, probably the last 20 years hunting. These three straight states are friendly to non-resident hunters. They have both a lot of public land, but they also have access to private land. Hopefully this will help you get an understanding on how you might be able to do a self-guided hunt in one of these states. Throughout this series, I'm going to talk about specific things you need to do to lead up to the hunt. Otherwise, we'd be watching a video for, you know, two and a half hours and I'd lose your attention and you'd get bored and move off. So the first part of getting ready to go out west hunting is, I'll talk about Montana, is trying to draw a license first and foremost. So in most states, they have slotted times that you can apply for that license. You have to get your application in. After that, they do a drawing and you can see whether you're successful at your draw. Now, one best way to get a handle on it is just, I simply go to Google and Google Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks. Their website will come up. You can click on hunting. I recommend that everybody does it and you just kind of get familiar with their site. They talk about public land, private land, uh, elk, deer, antelope, whatever it is you might want to hunt. It also helps you identify how to find the, the public land, whether it's federal land or state land. Um, I will show you in additional episodes maps uh, and how to identify it. And then there's also a, a, you know, most of us have probably heard about XMAP. Um, if you get that on your phone or on your GPS, you can buy a chip or load it on your phone over the internet. It gives you very within feet of where private land ends and public land begins. So uh, hang on and we'll show you how that works. Okay, so we'll put in Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks. Okay, so I put in Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks, hit enter, multiple sites as you can see right there. This is their home site, so I just simply go to hunting, it brings up their home page, you can go to hunt, and over here on the left is where you can, you know, license basics, hunting by species, regulation, hunt planner, hunt access so on and so forth. So, I mean, if you want to license basic, as you can see here, they have an online uh, application process. You scroll down in the screen and it gives you a lot of the basics. You know, what, where, when, how, requirements, basic license requirements, deadline for draws, non-resident license, Montana is broken up by regions. I think it's one through nine. Um, most deer tags that you would apply for uh, allow you to hunt in every district. There are a few that have a, a secondary draw, but uh, if you're successful at the, the basic draw, the big game, I call it the big game combo, um, you can hunt in, in most every district. So you don't have to worry about picking a particular district prior to applying. You've got a lot of the state to cover. Then you, if you draw a license, we can determine, you know, what, what area. I've hunted Jordan. I've hunted the Milk River. I've hunted the Mussel Shell. I'll share a lot of these areas with you and uh, hopefully help you. I'm going to call this, this uh, episode Hunters Helping Hunters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and share this with you. As you see here, the drawing application, you can apply for your license between March 1st and April 1st. So the first thing you gotta do is get the application in. You can apply just for a deer 
or you can apply for a deer elk combo. They give a lot more of the deer elk combo licenses away than they do the deer only. We'll touch on that before March 1st. All these animals were shot in Montana. No guide. Even got a couple whitetail up on the Milk River. That was Montana. That was Montana. All self-guided. So keep following us on Deer, Beer, and Gear, and we'll help you through the application process and then on to trying to pick an area to hunt.